<laughs> Good Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> we have to work on that intro. I, uh, I'm working on that right now. Okay. We play music and we get happy and we start. We start. That's like a lot of things in life. Just start. <laughs> All right. Chill out, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> exactly. You just got to fucking start. Exactly. It's all the curse words. Fucking right. <laughs> if as much money as he has, you can. <laughs> I guess you can do whatever you want. want. Exactly. <laughs> if I had that much money, I would probably curse every other sentence. <laughs> wow, I fucking lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Keep it tame. Welcome everybody to a second episode of Maple Glazed. I. That's am... right. That's right. You shits. You wanted this, so you get it. <laughs> I am Glazed, and Murph is Maple. Sound weird. Sounds like porn names. <laughs> it's it like streetwalk, <laughs> streetwalker <laughs> names. Seriously. The name is Glazed, and this is Maple. Can you see us at the corner, like late at night? Like <laughs> it's a two for one special. He's Glazed. I'm Maple. Why? Why do you name your guy? Why are you guys, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Pay and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks and you'll find out. <laughs> Ten bu- hey, we gotta develop hey, a clientele. Least, at least give me some little bit of little bit of leeway here. Well, we gotta develop a clientele. You start with ten bucks, you get them through the door, and then you start charging them more. <laughs> Business savvy. Oh man, people don't realize that about prostitution. You know, it's it's an entrepreneurship. People don't know the, know that about bakeries. I'm talking <laughs> about prostitution. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, just general business. You know what? Never mind. We're Actually, fine. <laughs> I learned that word in uh, my German lesson day. Back, bakery? Back, bakery? Who? Bakery? For German? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bak- I can't say it right. But... Uh, bakery? There you go, yeah. Zachary. There you go, yeah. Zachary. <laughs> Who calls you Zachary? Is that, is that your official full name? Or is it it is my official full name. Thank okay, you very I much. I thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Except Zachary. I... I, I, I <laughs> God. <laughs> Except they spell it E R Y, so everyone's like, Ooh. "Oh, wow, <laughs> you're too good for the A, huh?" Exactly. I'm like, F- they find knew, out. They just knew you wouldn't be an A student. Boom. Damn. <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, I get this it, crap. This is what happens. You, hey, you invited me. I didn't invite you. You invited me. Like, boy, it's a World War Three in I'm here. Just, I'm just setting up for the spinoff when we don't work out. So then I spin off and do my own thing. <laughs> that's like, that's that's what we have to wor- worry about. Yeah. Murph, Murph is on uh, his own set of friends, exactly. and, and he's Joey. He's going to have his own spinoff. It's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he had a spinoff. Hey, see? Yeah. No one remembers him. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and his little crappy spinoff. There we go. We settled that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're off. Uh, we hot start. Hot take here. Boy, it got really weird fast. Um, no one listens to us for normal. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> sure. We're, uh, as of right now, we're very hot in Germany in small nice. pockets of the U.S. By pockets, I mean Perfect. armpits. Yes. Wow. Don't make fun of our by armpits, I mean like that. <laughs> Every, wow, obviously. You're the American. I'm the half American. Every part of this country is amazing. <laughs> like, everything's we amazing. We red, white, and blue. Everything is awesome. Visits, but we do that here in the U.S. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Exactly. This is an 81 Honda. From sea to shining sea, <laughs> we are all eagles and red, white, and blue, buddy. <laughs> From glee to shining glee. Exactly. Mm-mm. Manifest destiny. We're throwing that in there as well. Go get this, that gold. <laughs> this <laughs> this is basically the epitome of our conversations. It's just how many um, things we can just throw out without exactly. without uh, having the first one get confused. Oh, yeah. And it's, just, it's a weird contest. Just Great content we have all day. This is our, this is, this, it's like our texts. These are just our discussions. <laughs> it's like, Sending random obscure videos and randomly, just being like, <laughs> randomly being like, bro, look at this tweet. That's really about it. That's really all we got, which we're 30 years old while we're saying, bro, I have no idea. But, you know, that's, Although that's I'm, nothing here I'm, nor there. I'm getting into the English uh, the English saying where they're like, bruv. Hey, bruv. Please don't. I think I'll jump out this window if we do, <laughs> it's we do that. I, it's Certain words just like intrigue me. I'm like... Oh, bruv. That's the new one that I probably will never use. I'm too... It's weird. That you just said that you're trying to use it? <laughs> it just sticks in my mind. It's like, bruv. Who the hell is bruv? I yeah. don't know. Leave me Where's alone. Where's the F come in? Or is it a V? What is, well, what is it? I got so many questions. <laughs> don't we all, Murph? Yeah. About well, English culture. Right. Should, but, we, should we segue that to your the news you've been freaking out about for almost pretty much the whole week? Yeah. Sorry, I have been... Low key, just dying the last few days. Um, as Murph perfectly segued on this one. Oh yeah, 
I there you go. It. This is this you is... opened it. You opened the door. I just walked right in it. That's there it. You, go. You, know. you you walk in the door. You're like, oh, this isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> Stay here for a little bit. That was terrible. Exactly. I just, I just lost all. I lost all mojo I had going there. After mojo. That moment. <laughs> Where's this mojo you speak of? <laughs> um, <laughs> Austin Powers but... was born with a baby. <laughs> Oh, the part where you pees uh, for 30 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, I am a a Newcastle United fan, and Murph is a obviously a Chelsea fan. So oh, yeah. If you guys have seen our my videos on YouTube, you guys have probably seen him wear random Chelsea stuff. No, he's oh, not yeah. lost. Nope. He's perfectly fine. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I guess you could say I was, you guess you could say I was lost because really the only reason – I got into them was because I played FIFA once as them, and I love Didier Drogba, Balak, Lampard, and I also look really good in blue. So I was like, yeah, you know, Very why true. not? Let's go with it. And I just have never, <laughs> never swayed since. And Zach actually had good reasons to like Newcastle. So uh, uh, yeah, Zach was like, yeah. I'm like that dumb girl at the party that's like, I just look good in this. That's why I like this team. And Zach's like, I've done my research. I follow <laughs> everything. And I'm like, all right, dude. Like, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was just playing football. I was playing a PC game called Football Manager. That's kind of how it worked. And it came down to three teams. It was like, was it Norwich, West Brom, and Newcastle? And I was like, oh, they all, I, I like all of them. I like the color schemes. I like their stadiums. And then Newcastle stuck out because the history. And then yep. the fans, I think, kind of drew me because of my Kansas City roots. And those fans are crazy. And, you know, kind of worked out well. And then, boom. It exactly. just, and obviously, too. Um, the stadium's named St. James's Park, and actually, that was the church where I was baptized in, St. James that. Church. Well, so okay. I was like, this just works out too well. So, um, long story short, uh, basically, the uh, Newcastle United just got taken over uh, last, or was it yesterday, now, whenever we're filming this. Um, basically, they got taken over by a Saudi, you know, billionaire, Sheik, multi-billionaire. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> and then uh and then a few other people within that consortium so um it's i've been following like european soccer for at least or football sorry don't yell at me um for at least i don't know I'd yell at them. <laughs> let it let her rip yeah. uh for i've been following for at least if you're, gonna say, if you're gonna say brev then you're gonna have to say football so you're gonna, that's what you're oh, gonna do broth yeah broth holy right yeah <laughs> But, but yeah, literally um, that's all he calls me the day after. I'm like working. I'm like, hey, I'm working a normal job like normal people do. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna call you at twelve o'clock. You probably got nothing. To oh, do. you're eating and just freak you're out. You're eating, you know, lunch. You're fine. <laughs> eating your Chipotle. Okay, but still, he's just like, dude, <laughs> we do it now. Chelsea's Chelsea's yeah, screwed. We got it now. And I'm like, I don't know if they're screwed. It just means you're gonna make a bigger run for us now. So listen, that's fair. Listen, every every match day, it's always like the same feeling where you're like i just hope we can show up and maybe get something you don't even watch their matches as late you told me no never since yeah exactly i watched maybe after rafa left like maybe a couple matches now it was yeah, really don't it. pretend like you you experienced match day i have have you woken up at 7 a.m to watch a game i know. have all right, all right that's fair all right that's fair <laughs> but steve bruce is bad and i was like I, I can't deal with this so finally they're they become was it they were top 30 or 40 in the world for like the most wealthiest club now yep. they are number one it's weird and well, it's yeah yeah they're like head like heads above everybody else <laughs> like they're it's like hundreds of billions of it's... dollars and like manchester city is like a few billion like that's pretty much like what it is like it's crazy <laughs> it's just crazy i know yeah the, how the turntables have turned like seriously it's nuts <laughs> got them though i'm not gonna lie my favorite part was when I first came over, we were hanging out. We watched pretty much how the fans in Newcastle were just going oh, nuts. Yeah. And it was awesome, actually. I kind of enjoyed it. They weren't like in the U.S. They get rowdy and they decide to destroy things, which is why we do it. I have no idea. Um, but like, which I couldn't get over. Newcastle was literally like, they were just standing there. It's not like they had a concert. It's not like there was <laughs> the new owners were there. They're literally just standing there in front of the stadium, drinking and partying. And like, that's really it. Like, the, you know, like, and, and the best part was it's like, um, and you but, know, in the U S a few gunshots would have been fired. Like, you know, oh, it just yeah. would have been bad. So, someone would have, someone oh, yeah. would have drank a little too much and things would have escalated, escalated quickly. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, the best part was, uh, the bar that was basically attached to the stadium called nine bar uh they basically ran out of drinks at 8 30 at night yeah and if you guys know england that's um 
bad. <laughs> I don't, but that's pretty bad in general. Yeah, like, I, don't even, I don't even think like, some of the tightest countries are closing at eight o'clock the bars. Like that's like it. But long yeah. story short, th this is a uh, this is a massive deal, and so now I'm all invested. He's back invested. Got him back. Reeled him back in. <sighs> so hard, man. So difficult. <laughs> but now we good. We good. He had us in the in the the longest first half possible, but you know what? Second half, we're ready to go. There you go. They're pros. They're still probably going to suck for the rest of the season when they get things figured out. But they'll be decent next season if they can survive. As long as we're up, I don't care. Yeah. Better than nineteenth, eighteenth, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, welcome to us. Wow, eleven minutes. Uh, oh, welcome yeah. to a we're second episode. <laughs> second episode of Maple. I thought Blaze. you said that. I. I, I, know, I was going to just segue into something else. All right, go for it. No, that's fine. Okay. You ruined my mojo. I can help you if you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, also, uh, if you guys want to help support the podcast, there is a Patreon uh, set up. Make sure you guys look in the description. That's all in there as well. These uh, pumpkin beers aren't cheap, so we could really use the help. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, most, most of the stuff that we do here, uh, you would not be, you'd be surprised. Like, you know, a little bit of money, how much, how far we'll go in a podcast. But it does help. Um, it is a really big team of one. So yeah, Zach, Zach does a lot of work. <laughs> so like, you know, it's you see how big he me. is. Those protein that doesn't that's not cheap. It's not. No, nope. not not no, at all. No, nope. boy spins the money quick. <laughs> He's nice microphones, headphones. I can, I, use a I can use a better chair though. This is like this is terrible. This is really the reason why I wanted to you know get some money in so we can help Murph. Yeah, help Murph get a better chair. It's fund. just not good for the spine or the it's back not. in any way. No, just no. horrible posture. It's just it's cold. It's metal. It's I feel like I'm. It's I metal, like I'm, bro. It has to go. <laughs> da, 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 da. I was gonna take that a whole other direction, but I can't do that now. So. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to feed so we just took it. that one direction. Yeah, I dropped that in there. Um, Chill out, Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man, geez. it's it's been a while. We got barely gotten any sleep the last couple of days. So I'm, I'm yeah. and I've been editing, you know, YouTube videos for you know my five channels I got going now. So that's that's great. Bit off a little more than you can chew. Uh, a little bit, but you know what? It's fun, it's, right? It's is great. It, is it fun? It is actually. Are you okay? I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Is your girlfriend I, okay? Yeah. She's fine too. Okay, they're all fine. They're all fine. Everybody. Okay, they're all fine. Sure, we'll we'll just take that. You know, no cry for help there. Is your is your wife fine? I don't have one, so okay. she's fine. See, she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Quit asking. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh, and I know some of my uh, German viewers who watch uh, YouTube uh, channel and whatnot, but they're currently most of them are traveling to the Schwabish Hall match against uh, the Dresden. Monarch, so that's going to be fun. Enjoy, enjoy your weekend. Is that soccer? Uh, American football. Oh, Ooh. nice. I didn't the know GFL. The... Okay, I didn't know they followed the team. Cool. Is yeah, that they... like a big time robbery or something? Uh, Schwabisch Hall has been like one of the more successful teams Schwe in Germany. Schwabisch Hall. Schwabisch Hall. Yeah. Is that like northern, southern, the unicorns. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not kidding. And then... Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yep. sorry. I'm sorry, Germany, but that's. <laughs> That's they, not a very scary animal. That's like a that's a that's a marshmallow and Lucky Charm cereal. So. <laughs> True. They literally they literally name all like their um, their mascots off of like kind of prehistoric um, mythological mythological creatures. creatures in within that region. Okay. So it's, no, it's, I'm just messing. I figured that was rich in history. That's they're a lot better at that over there than we are here. Oh yeah, but yeah, we like, we can't do that here because no. it'd be weird. Oh, I was going to make a really bad... I can't make that joke. Never mind. Why? It would cancel you so fast, so I'm not going to make that joke. Canadian's always setting me up. This I is know, what we right? get. I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so, Marv, how, how's life? How's going? How's oh, yeah, it's What's good. Going? It's good. Well, I guess we were we were on it, and then you transitioned oh, off sorry. of it so fast, I couldn't like That's piggyback we, we, off of we it. We circle back yeah. to it. Okay. Well, obviously, by the time probably this airs, it'll be near the start of the NHL season, so I've been getting yeah. pumped up for that. So, it means hockey will be back on. I'll be... In, engulfed in that after work for pretty much the next six months. Oh, so yeah, so it'll be fun. Looking forward to that. It's gonna yeah. be a good season. A lot of good teams out there. A lot of good German players ah, in the league. There we go. So that's pretty exciting. Watch them see how they do. You're um, not coaching? No, we didn't. No did not get a high school job. So oh, I'm. I know uh, that feeling. I might be um, freelancing some goaltending jobs here at some lower levels and just. Get get some kids interested in that sounded really bad, but get some kids interested in my my coaching services and maybe next summer start a little summer camp or something to coach and make a little extra money on the side. So, oh wow, 
start that start, start that dream. Over. I'm sure I'm going to hate all the work it's going to take, but something I really want to do. So we'll see if it works. So it would be fun regardless. Uh, but yeah, I think I think they said four days. So I think it starts Tuesday or Wednesday. The league starts. So, wow. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's here. It's happening. It, it's real. It is. It is very real. Oh, my God. Right? Very real. Murph's uh, goalie camp's coming to a place near you. I wish. No, I'm not that big. <laughs> That'd be not great. that big. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> you travel around. Right? <laughs> hockey goalie, too, in case anyone gets confused for a football goalie. It's a hockey goalie. Uh, yeah. But, oh, my uh, God. <laughs> you ever seen that sport? Actually, I remember... Lord rest him. Um, our uh, Travis showed me that there was a game in Germany. I don't know what it's called. Oh, the handball? They wear no, 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 no. They oh. wear hockey gear, but they put on bowling shoes and they play soccer on a rink. Oh, yeah, oh. it was actually kind of cool. Oh. Like, yeah, literally, it is like full hockey gear. They wear a face mask. They wear bowling shoes and they play soccer and I... the hockey rink. And they have these big goals. And like, yeah, some of them get moving. Like, they're pretty competitive. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy. I. I... See, I think I remember him showing me that, but I think my brain couldn't comprehend it. Like, what is all this happening at once? Right. And I can't. Right? I, can't I can't break this down properly. <laughs> it's, it's it's a very yeah. It's, it's one basketball. Of those, yeah, it's one of it's one of those ideas that you're kind of like. Well, I kind of know why no one thought of this, but I'm also kind of happy someone did think of this. So you're kind of like, okay, you know, I'll give it a try. See what I mean. Makes sense. Yeah. Do do I watch it? No, but I just see the audio YouTube videos. Interesting. It's very interesting. It's like slam ball. Yeah. You ever I see thought, that? Did, the, the were tramp- they bringing that back? They're trying to. Yeah. It, the the basketball with trampolines on oh it. So you can, I was like, this is stupid, but it's also really entertaining. Right? <laughs> I saw one, I think on TikTok, where it's on the beach. So they don't even dribble. So oh, it's like basketball, man. but it's on the beach. So they don't dribble. They literally just pass the ball to each wow. other. and that, Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty it's crazy. Incredible. Yeah. Did you, the, the, I guess we're living the golden age of sports now. Pickleball is made a rise. Like just all this stuff is just it's, randomly becoming popular now. Like I, I did not know this, but when I was in Paderborn, my first year, we were taking a tour of like the local uh, kind of community center in the area, and they they took us par like on this one side of of the building, and it was like this. Oh, what was it? Racquetball? I'm pretty sure it was like racquetball or something like that. They had like one of the world's best teams. Wow! And they're just like chilling with their racket and. You know, do you know we'll, what the we'll, do you know we'll, what the like the the playing surface looked like? Well, it was like it was like court? an inside the, it was like an inside court side. I'm pretty sure it was racquetball. Okay, um, but I was like, <laughs> these guys come out of of their court and they just stared at us, and they're like, "Hey, what's going on?" I'm like, "The hell you you got? Don't don't be coming in here with all this confidence." <laughs> It's like dude, look, rac- look at what you look at what you play, <laughs> dude. Racquetball's t- I played it in it's, college it's a few fun. times. It's tough and it's fun. Like it's but a lot of speed. Like, you act yeah, like a, you're a, a football player, like a true. European football player. <laughs> Just like, hey, what's going on, guys? You know what? That is the thing that always baffled me about over in Europe because I remember even being in Belarus, which was like not even obviously we were in their nice city, so they put a lot of money into it, but like the the sports centers they have like they have some in canada too like it's just they're really amazing like oh, i yeah. guess the comparison put, here would be a gym but literally yeah. like it's amazing how they put so many multi sports in this facility and it's like it's like the thing of the town like literally it's like you walk in like it's like modern technology like everything's up kept really well they have all these sports and clubs yeah. you can do like it's pretty amazing whereas they, here in the us you have like multiple buildings for everything so it's like if you want to play racquetball you got to go to a racquetball court true or like it's not one thing you can go do it like it's, it's pretty crazy it's very rare when you go to a building that they even have a racquetball court now yeah. my gym's got it and like when i grew up in missouri they like the local college gym had it but that's the only reason why i know about racquetball in any, any case for that matter because my dad used to take me there you go but right. uh other than that, I mean, it's yeah, it's like in Europe they have like a like a central location, like you said, and they have everything there. At least you know in Germany they do. They have that in Poland. You have a it's kind of like that a little bit, but they just try to increase their sporting profile as much yeah, as they can. It's, it's crazy. It, they invest a lot, a lot. It's crazy. It's, great. it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. It's like unfortunately it probably explains why they're so healthy over there or not. Because just literally, the food is it's a one great. stop shop for all that stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, the yeah. food is so clean over there. It's that's that's like the only place where I can go to McDonald's and be fine. But, Canada's pretty close to that. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're pretty close. Unfortunately, it's just they have the American portions, but the quality of food is like Europe. So, oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. in that case, there you go, go up to Canada just for the McDonald's. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can. They, I this this is like the one thing I always get when I go to McDonald's, at least in Germany. I, I don't think they had it in Poland, but they had um um Jesus, it's like a Caesar chicken wrap, but Ooh. it was the best. It was the best thing I would ever eat. And it's funny because like I'll go there every other day or so, and people are like why. Like, why do you keep going to that place? Like, because I will never get this at home, and I'll right? be screwed. <laughs> yeah, no, our yeah, our our like, and then our Caesar get, wraps here are just like we don't even have them here. No, they don't even think they mix the thing together. They literally <laughs> just put the dressing, lettuce, and chicken, and that's it. It's not even like mixed together like a real Caesar. Pretty sure the chicken was on the floor. And, oh yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah, they sit in those warming trays. Like, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's <laughs> thank you. We got right into food. Oh yeah, that's, that's what happens. That's how it always works, right? <laughs> but no, it's. Uh, God, it's just wild. All the all the food stories that I'm sure a lot of you guys have, especially going overseas and whatnot. But I'm a big dessert guy, so I just get angry, like over well respect, mm. but angry. But like, so obviously working for a food company, we get like Chipotle. like uh, yeah, right. We do like uh, a daily like um, what's going on with the company, what's going on in the food industry, and just like what they serve at like the McDonald's or the Taco Bell's or whatever for dessert over in those countries is like. Like, yeah, dude, like ice cream stuff with like all sorts of <laughs> it, amazing toppings on it and all oh, that. Yeah. And you're like, I think in Finland they did like a special grilled cheese sandwich, but the cheese, the cheese was like a patty grilled cheese. Oh, it was like that special, like almost fondue cheese Ooh. for a grilled cheese sandwich in Finland. And we're like, why can't they bring this stuff over here? Like, it's crazy, but it's just taste yeah, buds the culture different. over there. It's yeah. Taste buds are so different here and. In- People want either salt or sugar on a lot of their stuff. It's very true, um, and it's weird too because like if you go to Germany, it's a lot of um, a lot of cream based like stuff. So like I don't get the, over there very well. Yeah, it's uh, it's like at least their sauces they use use a lot of heavy cream because other like most of their foods are so clean. Right. So they need fat content to kind of make it a little bit really a little bit better. So, some people are like I, don't know, I feel like some of those like bratwurst and stuff have a lot of. Not like yeah, not like preservers, but there's salt. a lot of like um, a lot of salt in there, but not too much salt. Well, I didn't mean like that, but I just meant there's a lot yeah. to it that oh. it's like it's very filling. Like I'll go to some now, of course, these are American ones, but I'll go to like some you know beer gardens here, like you know like the not Hofbrau House, but like yeah. other ones like that, and like they're <laughs> like I'm assuming that's pretty close uh, to German portions and kind of some of what they eat. Kind of yeah, um, German portions are a little bit bigger, a little bit more extravagant here or there. Okay. Depending on the food, but gotcha. it's it's like uh, they don't want to put too much preservatives or like heavy. God, what, what would I want to say? Like a heavy, like I don't know, sodium content. We'll see. So a lot of times they're like, "Oh, do you want like do you want American ketchup or you want you know uh, this or that?" See, yeah. So it's kind of like the sauce is kind of. They ask you they, that. You know, sometimes like sometimes right at the at the table, but you don't have to ask for. It. But even then, it's. I don't know. The the thing that completes it, that kind of glues everything together is the sauce a lot of times. But nice. But like I've said every single time when I'm over here, I love tzatziki sauce. And it's so damn good. Oh, like you get Well that's Greek. That's not German. That's Greek. Yeah, but you get guys that's who good, emigrate over. Oh over yeah, there. oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it's like and I, the only reason why I segue into that because it's like you can get kebabs over there. I know the Turkish German, leave me alone, but they uh you can get kebabs where they're super fresh and super good. Oh, yeah. The sauces are great. But here, you can get kebabs or euros, whatever you want to call it. Sure. And it's not the same because the meat is, like, yeah, thick and yeah. weird. And Do you remember remember how we would get we get <laughs> hammered? We'd have the street meat outside of the bars. Oh, my God. God, how good those were, though. <laughs> I remember that. Oh we we left the club one night. We, we, go to, uh, we go to this little... This little pop up, yeah, little rinky thing. dink, like yeah, like so. Basically, it would be it like, like a imagine line of twenty, a, yeah. Imagine a hot dog cart, but they instead of the hot dogs, mm. they put a grill that they'll cook it right in front of you. The meat, and you could tell though that meat is like frozen from Walmart, probably yeah. whatever meat. But the meat's not that great. But no, but oh my god! But yeah. we've had, we've had a few drinks, and they literally <laughs> cook it right there in front of you. Oh my gosh! It it's wonderful. It, it's that's probably the closest you can get to. You know that style of kebab over yep. here, but um, they'll put uh, I forgot what they put on it. I don't know, it was tzatziki or some other sauce, oh, yeah, something like, like a ranch so good tzatziki. Though. But they put that on there, it was so good, yeah, with some peppers and all that. Oh my gosh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I think yeah. it was 
God. Man, what a time. Right? <laughs> I'm going to have to go out and party after this and get that. Just to, I don't even think I really even want to get drunk anymore. I just want to eat the street meat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say that one more time, Mer? Yeah, right? Exactly. Hey, whatever. They, What's they the can, freshest street meat you their, got here, sir? Right? Let, their, let their whatever <laughs> dirty mind. It's, it's a legitimate term here. Like You can go, go up to anyone and be like, hey, you want to get some street meat after this? They'd be like, totally. Like uh, No one's thinking anything dirty. It's a legitimate phrase here. <laughs> Probably don't say it middle of the day because people will be like, what the fuck? fuck are you talking about well murph stayed out of short north huh i don't get this oh <laughs> there's gun violence in the short north so i'm staying out of there but yeah it's well in the heart of it yeah oh my gosh tyler <laughs> <laughs> wow you're canadian uh, tell me more oh my gosh <laughs> Yeah, the the short north is known for it's a fun place to go party but it is known for um what's the what's the pc way of saying it i guess it's a, a different kind of thinking a different way of life. Different way of life. Somehow... When a man meets another man... Correct. Or when a man falls in love with another man... Correct. That type of community. Exactly. Which, but honestly... It's, nothing nothing wrong with it. I'm all for it. Unfortunately, I am. I don't roll that way. And I, am, I don't judge anyone that does, but I don't roll that way. But for some weird reason, and I do not know why, I hit it off with them very well. Like, you know, women that are kind of into women don't hit it off with very well. But like, like for some weird reason, <laughs> oh and they know I'm, not, they know I'm not, they know I'm not into them. It just is like really weird. Like, I don't know why. They're like, trying to turn you, Tyler. I hope not. <laughs> I feel like it's not like that, it's but maybe it is like that. gold. Damn it. <laughs> but no, uh, they have some of the best food down there. And, and oh yeah. it's, it's like, it's cool just to go down there, you know, chill out for a day or so, just get some food and walk around. Yep. It's a nice day. It's, it's not bad. They have a candy shop down there too. They got a lot of things down there. Good. Yeah, coffee <laughs> coffee it, shops, like all that stuff. Oh yeah, tea, dude. I went it's to a, it's an awesome a, tea spot. Like it's whoa. always a damn coffee shop with one one little girl working on her laptop, just staring off in the distance. You're walking by, you make that awkward stare at her. You're like, "What are you gonna do?" <laughs> you got real personal thing. <laughs> it happens every time. Leave me alone, man. I've never <laughs> had that happen to me. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's oh my weird. gosh, what do you do when you go into these places? <laughs> I just notice weird things, man. It just my brain picks up weird things. Yeah, you're just like literally you walk into like a Starbucks where there's probably twenty of them, and you'd still pick one out and be like, "Oh, we had awkward eye contact." And be like, "What?" <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh! But they at least they have a uh, great um, what's a mac and cheese place down there? That's great. Oh, um, uh, melt the melt. Yeah. No, dude, those are grilled cheese sandwiches. Or where they put mac and cheese in the grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, never mind. Oh I, yeah, I, dude, that's a you want to die, you eat one of those. Oh my gosh, your portions are incredible. <sighs> They're it massive. is so stereotypical America. Like it is oh. like the biggest pieces of sourdough bread I think you can find. And then it's just like, yeah, if like literally I think if they could get away with it for food costs, they would probably cut like a whole loaf and put it all in a whole loaf. <laughs> but probably like seriously. I, I looked up there one day because I was like, I was working and I'm like. Dude, yeah, I could barely I finish like, half a sandwich. Like, it's so bad. I, I start, I stare because they're finally on DoorDash now. So oh, I'm, shit. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, oh, sweet. This is cool. So I, I start looking at the pictures. I'm like. Oh, suddenly I don't want this anymore. Cause right? Because I looked at the Monte Cristo. I was like, "Oh, wow, this is this is really fried." And I know these portion sizes are gonna be like. Oh my gosh, the they kill me! Like literally, the mistake <laughs> I went is like I went there, and of course I had some I had some drinks before, and beer fills you up pretty good. So yeah, it's just like. So then you get your sandwich, and you're like, "I'm not gonna even come near finishing this." Like the thing's yeah. huge, and I mean, I it's, can eat it's quite a bit of even, food, but it's just like, holy crap, like. It's, it's like bigger than Italian portions. I mean, these are extra si- extra large plates, and they're filling these things up with you know your side like fries or whatever else. And these sandwiches are probably the size of huge. a large man. It's huge. It's wild. <laughs> you just oh, and I'm passing out anyway from all the fried food. Right. I'm, I'm trying done. to see if I can find a picture so you can like because it's just it's almost impossible to explain how big True. they are. Like it's just crazy. I'm also trying to too, find their menu, but yeah. Also, too, I we do we do have um, the podcast uh, fully recorded on our YouTube page. So YouTube page, so just type in Maple Glazed Podcast. It should pop right up. We also have the highlights. Yep. So you guys check that out. And, I don't Murph, know. What you, I don't know what you want me to add. Murph, to that, uh, but yeah, that looks. That's that's he's that's, right. That's, that, that's up. That's there. That's that. You know, you he guys is, can watch uh, rent free. Uh, Murph, just uh, Dude, yeah. There it is. You know what? You got it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Just show that. That's the mac and cheese grilled, like that's a mac and cheese melt sandwich. I'm gonna bring that up. 
Wait, hold on. Uh, it's not very tilted yet. No. That one. Um, I might have to adjust my brightness on that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> thing is thick. Thing is like, <laughs> thing, is like is thing is thick. like, yeah, thing is almost as thick as my phone. Like it's crazy. Like 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 Don't this way. Phone, like the, yeah. it's gonna be not away at your phone case. Seriously, it's good. It's good though. But yeah. Oh crazy. man, this is what we. There we go. F- food talk. It's what puts us in a coma. Right. Every time. Man, what? Well, these is, these these Fridays. I tell you what, they they put me in a weird mood. Right. Well, it's Friday, you know, TGIF, all that fun stuff. Not anymore. It's not the 90s. I don't know if I ever asked you this. Do yes. you, in Germany, is like pumpkin flavor beer a big thing right around now? Or just because they are such beer purists, there's no taste to their beer, like no special additives to their beer. It's just the quality itself. I don't think they have. I think I think they have like pumpkin style beer, but I don't think they really. They, they don't, don't latch on to it like they all basic bitches? Yes, we, okay. we are. Americans are. We are so. Yeah, we're it, awful. Is, it is like, yeah, it is. I think it's because we go through that awkward time of like summer ends in September yeah. and they got nothing else going on. So people just get really excited for fall and pumpkin flavored things. It, and that's the thing. It's, uh, that's kind of the situation we're in. It's like in Germany, I don't think they really have a whole lot of flavorings in their beer. It's kind of simple. It's either. Yeah. I it, like it though. It's, it's good quality. It, it is. It's, you know, you got your, your, Hell beer, you got your lager or Pilsner. Hefeweizens I've been enjoying, but I don't know if that's Hefeweizen. I don't know if that's that. I was it's Canadian. It I don't know if that's German or if that's American. <laughs> it's Canadian. But yeah, okay. <laughs> it's all Canadian to Mark. <laughs> it's all French to me. No, it's I think it's French German. No, yeah. it, it is Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. No. We own this. We're now. claiming it now. <laughs> I don't think Trudeau wants uh, a piece of Merkel right now. Right. <laughs> be the, it'd be the nicest uh, nicest meeting ever. <laughs> Uh, Although she, I don't think Merkel really speaks English, so it'd be interesting. Okay, <laughs> but no, it's um, it's interesting. Uh, they don't really get too seasonal with their stuff. Uh, even with Halloween, it's not very very big. I, I I've heard that there's a few little pockets, or little cities or regions that will start to pick it up. But okay, it's starting. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like Halloween's kind of more of a North American thing. Probably, I don't know. Is it like as recognized around the world? It's starting to now. Okay. Um, I think what was someone tell me? I, I always look this stuff up because it's interesting. As I say, I thought you would know this stuff, Mister Halloween. Uh, I know. I got to like, I love Halloween. I, I love it what? so much. I Shut do. Up. I do. Shut up. Uh, I do YouTube streams on it. Oh, it's like in the rest of the world. I don't know. I keep researching it, but I never really remember. I'm well, because like, okay. you get you get weird answers from people. They're like, <laughs> like it's in certain like regions, like it's really popular. In other regions, it's like, why the hell are you coming to my door? <laughs> like why are you here? What are you like spreading the word on the Halloween going door to door or something? Me, like why you, what do you mean going have to you the heard door? The, have you heard you're the good like, news? If you're just hanging out at a pub and you're just talking to some people about it? Like I don't know. Like, you heard the good news about Halloween. Yeah, it's come. I guess I guess you're right. If I'm at a bar, I'm not like, what's your favorite holiday? Mm, like, I'm like I don't know, but I guess like I don't know. I find when I travel abroad, I want to know so much about the culture. So I'm <laughs> like, I'm gonna ask all the stupid questions. Like I don't care. Like I'm like, oh. <laughs> You know, it's, what's Christmas like here? Like, what's, you know, do you guys celebrate that? You know, do you believe in Jesus? Like, I don't know. <laughs> do you have a second to talk about this? How about your car's extended warranty? Like, I don't know. You just have extended warranty. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. by the government. Oh, right. yeah, exactly. But no, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's probably bigger than in the UK. Okay. That, that whole area, because that's kind of where a lot of it originated. But once again, it's like, I guess, Scotland and, uh, Wales, it's somewhat popular in some parts. That makes um, sense. England, a little bit, but don't they say Halloween's kind of pagan? A little yeah. bit, like whatever. Which it's Celtic, has baby. Some, yeah, which has some Let's roots go, to there. Celts. But there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you're not even. Well, I don't even know. You're you're a mutt. You got so many mix of things you can claim. I'm part Scottish everything. too. Damn, oh, go. I got yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just like every American. <laughs> just, just like a Pokemon card. I got them uh, all, baby. Oh, jeez. <laughs> But no, it's okay. it's. Uh, I've I've heard a lot of people in in Europe start to pick it up now okay, with, they, with Halloween because they they see the Halloween like movies from America from like the nineties or two thousands. Like, wow, I, I want I want that. And so now the generation is kind of coming up and like, oh, we should just adopt this now, right? That's it's, fair. It's candy companies conspiracy candy. Co- <laughs> <laughs> True, uh, I, but that's the best part because you have the other residents are like, I don't. Why are we doing this? Like, why? Like I don't know why you're here. You're supposed to give me candy. It's like I'll pay you five bucks to leave. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> right. The loose research I've done on it, I think they actually said, so it used to be called Beggar's Night. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and like, this was like early, like the early 1920s or something here in the U S and they said that, yeah, like people go to the door asking for things and they didn't always get candy, but like you get things. And if not, then sometimes it was like a bad omen or like sometimes it would give you the right to prank their house. Yeah. So yeah. I and then unfortunately, that. unfortunately, uh, candy <laughs> companies got bigger and then it kind of became like, I see realize a lot about a lot of American traditions is like as a country, we are really good at marketing. So really, like, really good. Oh, actually. like the like Christmas, like all that yeah. stuff. It is basically just marketing that has taken over. Like I'm it's, even willing to admit it around Christmas time. <laughs> if we're still doing this, like I am all out in it. Like it is my biggest holiday. And I realized half of the stuff I enjoy is just marketing. Like I'm watching movies. I'm like, why the hell am I doing this? I'm buying <laughs> things. I'm like, why the hell am I doing this? And it's like, yeah, just marketing. Like it's, it's I, I found, the hit oh god it's about to be a nerd here go for it uh, i found like the history of uh halloween in america like post-world war ii was so oh this interesting is what this was setting you up for i was waiting hey, for there, you to there take we over go, there, there we go guy. yeah i find it so interesting because um they said at the time i mean halloween wasn't really much in the 20s and 30s but they they found that economic booms actually help halloween like grow like twofold almost so by the time i think it was oh man i think it was maybe yeah, the post World War II, when the troops were coming back home, they uh, they they found out that a lot of uh, a lot of people were spending a lot of their money a little bit faster because all the troops were at home. Uh, the jobs were starting to be more created, and the next thing you know, the people want to spend more money, and then that's when they kind of got an idea like, all right, let's start making costumes and start making more candy, and then it just kind of built and built and built. So forties well, and fifties. Was- there was the boom. There was a boom too, and yeah. obviously in children because you got home from the war, and obviously it was or, that early what were people going to do when they yeah uh, when they got home from the war. So yeah, yeah it's yeah sixties. Uh, it was weird because they said sixties and seventies was dormant. It kind of like lingered, but it was okay. Like yeah. early sixties was fine, but I think by the time uh, we hit the eighties, that's obviously when Halloween just kind of took off in the U.S. And then uh, the nineties was kind of like a hangover effect. That's fair. And then. And kind of the same thing, hangover effect into the early 2000s. And, um, this, Bush, year might, this year might be a little rough. It it will, <laughs> just like last year. But I, I think it was Bush, actually, Bush or Obama, changed the daylight savings thing. So, like, daylight savings used to end on October 31st oh, yeah. okay, a lot yeah, of time, yeah. like every year. Yeah. That's why people always, and I was wondering, like, why do I feel weird, like, after, right? like, Halloween right. night? Because you kind of feel like, Slight, not even hung over. It's a weird, like, dragging feeling. And I was like, well, that was when they ended, you know, daylight savings. But then, interesting. So, like, when Obama got in office, I think they switched it okay. um, to like the first couple days or first week. Yeah, it's November. some in November. Yeah, it's, I looked yeah. it up. It's like, it's like November 6th or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like right after Halloween, it's, pretty much. It's just odd. Interesting. And, I didn't know that, huh? Yeah, I have no life. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> I guess the thing that I would wonder too is obviously candy is a very big thing. So you're yeah. after what you're saying. So the, it, I know it was the give... candy companies because they okay. they they claim it was um um uh what was it? Mm-hmm. It's one of the uh, one of the platforms you ran on. They claim it was like um, oh we were we were using too much energy at the time, so oh. um, so we were kind of using too much. Basically, CO2 was going in the atmosphere. Next thing you know, they were like, well, we gotta. And the candy company started coming. I was like, all right, how about we do this? We just bump it back an extra hour or a couple hours or a couple days so people have more time to celebrate if they need to. Okay. So they, so they can go to the store and buy more. Right. So okay. they buy more candy. Well, I was going to say, because I know, especially during World War II, there were a lot of Hershey bars given to the troops as comfort food. So it was kind of like... True. And it was gonna sound, it was, I apologize. <laughs> but like, I guess it was kind of like the taking off of Playboy. Like, I wonder if like like the troops came home and they were like, the they had the romanticisms of like chocolate and they're like so Halloween just kind of became that time for them of True. like remembering some of those times. I don't know. It makes me wonder. But Even, anyway. Probably M and M's too. Yeah. I don't know when M and M started, but World War One two or sounds two. right, but one or two I think was probably would have been two, I would imagine. The troops had chocolate, but they they always yeah, melt. It was Hershey bars. Oh. Well. But it was basically it was like they gotcha. always they always would melt. So okay. That's why they put in the hard coating. So they and I would know. imagine it's too because I don't yeah. I don't I don't remember seeing that much in World War One when I was studying it. So yeah, it's yeah, ah, whatever. 
<laughs> rabbit hole, baby. Rabbit holes. The drop. We're, ju we're just like YouTube. You know, you you you're watching one thing and then you're like, well, how the hell did I end up here? And that's you know, it's and it's midnight. So <laughs> yeah, that's me so many times, dude. Right. That's, that's why I don't watch YouTube as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Money. I had to uh, get off. Right. Seriously, it's bad. <laughs> bad but no those it's, algorithms it's <laughs> i i always travel to um for those of you who don't uh haven't oh. watched in my vlogs i i, I every year kind of go to different places around you watch the good. u.s it's it, it's it's fun unfortunately i can never make it but you should watch them yeah good. i know I, I, i'm trying to. yeah <laughs> i'm trying to. i want to just it always seems like it's such a crazy time for me at work that i'm like oh, i just don't know but yeah but um i i kind of made it a habit i think it started a couple of years ago i was like i want to go to the, some of the i guess uh bigger halloween ce celebrations like fall festivals or pumpkin festivals around the u.s so i actually i was in germany at the time i found a list of like top 10 places and then that's when i found what was it all you know all the places you guys have seen like sleepy hollow and obviously salem i've been there before but uh like laconia new hampshire was a big one uh, there's a place in West Virginia that's a big one. Um, Ohio actually has a huge pumpkin festival. Centerville? So, yeah. Or yeah. Circleville. Circleville, sorry, yeah. Circleville. I'm supposed to be going to that, that one soon, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple weeks I'll be a couple weeks I'll be up. And then um yeah, it's it's kind of it sounds cheesy, but honestly it's cool because you go to these small towns and that's like that's like it for them. Because yeah. I grew up in Missouri where the fall festivals was like kind of a celebration of three days of you know your harvest and everyone kind of comes in and just has a good time yep. farmers just like hey we're done for the year yeah time to time to party time to party let's go right <laughs> no regrets seriously no reg no regrets no regrets all that money <laughs> they just made got him <laughs> hook them uh, in murph <laughs> exactly <laughs> but no uh, it's 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 really cool because this time of year it's it's weird between uh ohio and other states, they just don't take it serious here. They just don't. They don't the really small, care. the small towns do. Like when we yeah. go to some of the small towns we go to, you can tell they look forward to it. It's like a thing to drive tourism. But unfortunately, the big cities, yeah, no, it's yeah. like it's they've big they've suburbs. lost those roots. Yeah, well, suburbs, I think it's yeah. unfortunately it is. It's it's farming. It's farming yeah. that kind of dictates that. So it's just like yeah, it's it's weird out because we're like northern Columbus, so you get a lot of people. Yeah. They're like, well, just you know, it's. It's bad because people are sneaking razor blades into candy. I think, all right, I'm still living in the '80s. That one still, ba <laughs> yeah, that one still baffles me. That one I know. still baffles me. I think that's some messed up people in this world. That's what we're doing. That's what we're afraid of now. Um, but no, it's it'll be good. I think uh, it's always a fun time. I I really just hate Christmas. It's just it's not even it's not even for like bad reasons. It's just it's for people just squeezing everything out of the damn holiday because it, it gets earlier and earlier every year yeah i i will agree with him on that we again part of our friendship we both agree on that it'll which i'm kind of annoyed about because it's like actually people will kind of start people will kind of start, start kicking now. it off here in a few weeks and it Some literally has like now. yeah it, it just encompasses everything and i'm a person like you know let's wait for most of november until thanksgiving's done and then maybe the last week of november yeah. and then december you know enjoy it but yeah it's <laughs> it's unfortunately too a lot of companies rely on it because so many people are spending money then and it's where people like like companies make a lot of profit unfortunately in my case there's a lot of theft so i'm usually very busy around that time so i'm not looking forward to it um but uh well i'm looking forward to the stuff after work but during work life's gonna stink um <laughs> yeah. but uh Boys. yeah but for, for me it was always because obviously as you guys heard in the last podcast um christmas time is the only time during the hockey season that my family can kind of all get together um, no matter where we're at so it's like kind of the only time besides the summer that i get to see my brother and my dad and my sister and my mom all on one roof um, whereas before we're traveling everywhere to visit people and all that crazy stuff it's a little so Canadian that's yeah man. exactly so that's why for us it's always been like a big holiday that way um and whereas like thanksgiving is a big holiday here but actually i forgot to mention this Ooh. i just heard on the radio here it is thanksgiving in canada this weekend Wow, so yeah, you're Canadian. Would, exactly. Which it's not a big holiday. It's, <laughs> it's not a big holiday in Canada. I think they've adopted it just because of the U.S. But they did oh. it a month earlier. Like I don't think there's any history to it, but I have not done any research on it. And every time I ask my parents, they don't really have answers for it either. Wow. But like, yeah, yeah they literally just like, yeah, they literally just adopted <laughs> it and decided to take it in, in October. 
I have no idea why, but um, but yeah, they, I mean, they still celebrate Halloween, but as of right now, yeah, they're doing Thanksgiving, I think, this weekend. So, oh, yeah, geez. it's interesting. I don't know why, but... This attempt to completely block Halloween is disgusting. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Okay, you Halloween purist. I will not stand for this. Just call me a, little, call me a Puritan. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even know what they do in the rest of the world, so <laughs> how know. the heck are you like, yeah, like... They don't do anything in the rest of the world, just like, hey... This, we see in the movie. We saw Hocus Pocus. That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I actually watched it the other night. It still holds up. Oh, we went for the second one. It's not going to hold up. No, not even close. I used to watch... I watched Halloween Town 2, and that one... That one I struggled with a little bit. I nostalgia, hate that one. I mean, I nostalgia hate... kicked in, but, like, I forgot how bad those Disney movies were. Like, yeah. how, when we were kids, did we enjoy it that much? <laughs> like... The oh, second no, like, one was so bad. He's, so bad. I and people still say like that's my favorite one. Like how they're sitting in a the, pile of of clothing and trying to write the whole movie. Even like, though just, we can't even get though, through. What? They made four of them. Yeah, because then they went to university and that was bad. And yeah, the Marnie bad. character was completely different. The storyline was, like, was actually not bad, but the way they executed yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. Actually, I will give Disney that they had some really good storyline movies for the holidays. They were just. Horrible acting and yeah. a ho- just horrible directing. <laughs> Welcome to shitting on Disney. Mickey I Mouse mean, will kill us in a. I don't know that sleep. weird that weird Disney <laughs> Disney 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 <laughs> that weird Disney Pixar mix kind of thing they will do for like the Moanas and the um like the what like if you only know, they use that money for the like TV the Pix, movies. like the you know the uh, <laughs> right the um uh, Wallies and all that like those are good movies but like yeah then the Dis- the Disney Channel movies were garbage. Did you see they're making a, a show out of uh, Under Wraps? No way. Yeah. M- the movie? Yeah. But the money? A, the, yeah. I think, I, I'm not sure if it's like a limited series, but they're making like a show out of it. I might check that out, see what that's like. It probably you... will suck, but I'm actually worried to watch that movie because I'm worried after so far what I'm experiencing, I'll be like, <laughs> this movie wasn't very good either. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's some of those movies that you're kind of happy you it's don't weird find. Time, man. Yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. It, it's... You, you get to like a certain, I don't know. I don't know if it's age. You get cynical. Yeah. But even then, it's like, I don't know, things just suck. Right? Well, it's just the, the newer newer generation now. I, I don't know what's happening. True. We're just, but yeah. we're just, we're, now we're just gawking at stuff. We are. But I guess, you know what? Sh- Techno- shocks. Technology, it's ruined us. We've, you know, yeah, we're just used it. to all this nice CGI <laughs> and all this stuff. So now we're used to things being more realistic. We, Actually, going off that, what are your thoughts on the old scary movies of like, Friday the Thirteenth, and like, um, I'm trying to think what else, I, um, like those old slashers. I've never been a fan of horror movies or slashers, but because hmm. okay. I don't know, I'm that weird minority to where I'm like, I don't think the gory, you know, horror movies like stuff like that really belongs with Halloween because it's like there's like a there's like a whole there's a whole segment with Halloween people who are like we don't believe that's like part of it or the spirit of it so we kind of separate ourselves from them it's it's a weird like thing but okay. i don't personally like it uh but it's i i'm starting to get back into them like halloween and i've always kind of liked jason yeah um over the years i started kind of growing on okay he started growing on me a little bit but uh obviously the halloween movies are making to come back and i've always enjoyed those it's going to be very Canadian middle of the road for me yeah. here, but I will, I think I understand to the degree of like the slasher movies of like just dumb gore and like all that yeah. kind of stuff for, you know, forgive me for people that enjoy those, but I <laughs> like, find oh. that, yeah, or like the jump scares, <laughs> I find those kind of weird, but like, it's gonna sound, like, I mean, I guess the only best way I can describe it, it would be like the Stephen King movies of like more like mental scary yeah, and like, you know, that kind those of stuff. Those are the better ones. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Maybe I feel like that's psychological. What, I feel like that's almost. what Halloween's about, but maybe I've just completely lost touch of what Halloween is. But I just, I guess like, even when you think back to the old days of Halloween, it was like the sleepy hollow book, which was like, yeah. technically that was their scary movies of the time. Yeah. And so I've always feel like Hall- Halloween is kind of like one of those holidays that that's what it kind of celebrates. The best, um, the best thing that I think kind of like Halloween kind of grew out of, it was always like a, um, I, I guess you can call it like psychological horror or like a, uh, oh, they would always leave the endings kind of open-ended to where they always yeah. allow your, your mind to kind of take over. That's kind of what Sleepy Hollow was. Yeah. Or Hell is no, what, and That was yeah. kind of like those shorts we watched. 
yeah, yeah, scary yeah. shorts. Like that's I I those are the I agree those are the best. That. Yeah, yes. I, I love those because I leave you on a cliffhanger. I agree. It's I'll not just a cliffhanger, but they 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 insinuate one ending, but then your brain takes it in a completely different way because you're like, you're, well, those are even scarier because you you can't think straight. Yeah. You're like, oh my god, what what's going on? And it's those are the best ones. Yeah, I yeah, agree. That's kind of like, yeah, I agree. That's that's yeah. To me, but, to me, that's what kind of makes sense yeah. of it. Like you know, unfortunately, no today's world. People don't like to think that much when they watch movies, but but that but we're weird. We're old. We are. We're very old. We're old school. Especially today, I found out they're making a that's not that nineties show. <sighs> yeah, you ruined but, you ruined my Friday. When you told me that. <laughs> I it ruined me. I'm like, why yeah. are we doing this now? Right. Why are we funding <laughs> they, this? Yeah. This is how I realize that we're we're getting too old. We're like, oh my god, they're and you know they're bringing they're what the people are saying. So like the '70s to us is yeah. like the '90s to the new generation. Just let that sink in. So I was born '90. Murph was '91. One, yeah. yeah. So it's. So. Not, I mean, so a, probably a majority of our memories are late '90s, early 2000s. But like, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, I felt old the other day. <laughs> unfortunately, I busted someone for for Uh-oh. stealing. Unfortunately, I was born in 2004. Oh man. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Exactly. And now, I mean, 17 years old, so not not at those ages of drinking yet, but yeah, like still in high school, but like, you know, yeah, dude, like Jeez. junior, senior year of high school, 2004, like, not us. Yeah, dude. Like, no. yeah, just, just, just think about that. They're That's my, five years away from when we graduate, call, graduate oh, yeah, high school, they're going to be starting high. Oh, wait, no, wait, sorry. No. No, they're born. <laughs> Wait no no no. They're yeah, born yeah, sorry, I'm, just doing, I'm just doing the math right now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no no. So the 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 kids that were born in 2009 when we graduated high school, they're going to be coming into high school here like in the next like 2 years. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah. Like I'll let that sink in. I mean, I'm not doing real math, so I'm sure someone is going to comment and be like that's stupid math. It's this, but <laughs> I'm just doing yeah. <laughs> no, no no, sorry sorry sorry. No, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. No, yeah, so it'll be no, it'll be well because if he's a junior in 2004 five years so yeah it'll be about two a year to two years oh yeah 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 wow wow i'm actually shocked i got that really close for very doing very minimal math before i actually did the math <laughs> it's like wow right, yeah, the spot. right. good exactly, job right yeah I'll uh, it's weird to me because my brother was um he graduated from high school in 2004 Jeez. so that's that's weird to me so i'm saying that's, dude, that's, that's how old we're getting now like freaking the world spins time moves and life goes on like holy crap wow yeah dude and it hit me hard my first year coaching high school because some of the seniors that we were actually juniors and seniors at the time, uh, a lot of them were born in 2001. And I'm like, that's when I asked them, I was like, you guys were taught 9-11, right? And they're like, oh, it's, it's a historical event. And I was like, oh, God. Right? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, dude, it is now. It, seriously, like, it what? is. Yeah, dude, it's in the history textbooks. It is now. I was like, man. Right? Damn. Jeez. I lived through that. We're all, yeah, well. I was in elementary school, so I don't remember a ton about well, it, but I do remember it. So yeah, it's we almost went on lockdown that time. I think we fun. might have for a hot for a few hot seconds, but I was in Atlanta at the time, so we were oh. far from it. Well, we yeah. were we were like an hour away from where they built where they built the um, B two bomber, so we were conf- like we were like nervous, like someone would try to yeah, some idiot would try to like attack right. that. So I was like, oh, this is fun, right? Eleven year old kids running around. I forgot. Who I was talking to, but that just brought me on. Uh-oh. It is funny how like there's these random places in America that like we build things or there's like communities of like I remember hearing or reading something that they're saying like a lot of like Vietnamese people during Vietnam immigrated to like Missouri. Yeah. Because and it was just because it was they could go there and yeah. so they created like this little Vietnam there. And I'm just like, Really? Out of everywhere, Missouri. Like you'd yeah. think they would have left, but it's like no, they'd literally just Wherever the plane ticket ticket would take them, yeah, they'd go and they would just make life out of there. So like you makes think a lot more sense. Yeah, you now. think like New York, Atlanta, Miami, like there's a lot of cultural hotbeds there. But then like that's the funny part about when we drive around the US, you'll be in like this random state and you're like, Why are there all these like why are there all <laughs> these like Germans here? Like even Ohio is a huge German population. You're like, why are they all here out of everywhere? Yeah. But I guess they just they, 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 they would stumble options. across yeah, they'd stumble across land that was similar to where they True. hailed from or like you said they gave them like as like what swedes and minnesota but i guess you know cause it's so cold and everything up there well like, in Sweden, the thing but it's the, like, the thing here is um uh, the somalian population that too yeah. so like they kind of tell 
uh, the Somalis when they come over, they're like, all right, you have two options. Either you got you got Minnesota or Minneapolis, yeah. or you got Columbus. Yeah. And why they choose Minneapolis blows my mind. <laughs> it's if, for super you guys, cold. Yeah, for you guys that don't know Minneapolis, literally from oh, you're wearing sandals. From starting, like, what yeah, the hell? <laughs> from starting from next month until probably like April, it doesn't get over like freezing there. Like it just is for it is just it is it is it's ugly painful. cold. It is bad. Like yeah, it is bad. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like actually, I'm, there's a pond hockey tournament that happens up there, and I've had buddies go to it, and it gets so cold, the oh, yeah. the skates they wear aren't used to it that they get so cold they start breaking. Oh my god! Outside, yeah, it gets that cold outside, like it's crazy. I, I, I believe it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah. When I went to college up in Iowa, we were probably how many hours? I think we were like, probably like two or three hours away from say? the border okay. of northern border of of Iowa so into Minnesota but it was oh my god I mean it, it it would be you know was it one or two degrees and then you get a wind chill of negative 20 or something yeah. I remember yeah. there's like a span of like two or three weeks in the winter time was probably somewhere around wind chills had to be like negative 30 yeah I was like I'm done the world the world done getting, the world's getting weird I remember actually we had to close some stores in those areas because it was like a year or two ago the wind chill was so bad that I think like it was like the whole state was like shut down because they're like it's yeah. too cold no one could go outside like it was yeah. like if you You'll went outside yeah no literally it was like if you went outside whatever skin was exposed was like frostbitten within minutes like it was crazy like yeah it was just nuts Jeez. yeah it was crazy thank you for segueing into winter i know right I we mean, ain't not yeah, ready dude, for that it's, it's tapping on the door i mean yeah it's 80 degrees here right now but like it's coming it's coming <laughs> yeah, it's usually show my my nose right <laughs> i'm nasally i don't know i just always i always try to prepare for it because i hate getting caught i mean don't mention i love winter i just don't like that winter those winters i don't like like i like a little snow I like a little cold but Sub-zero Arctic freezing temperatures. Like, no, nah, I'll stay away from that. <laughs> you still got the heat on at 69, 70 degrees. You're like, <laughs> get, deal with it. <laughs> no, I mean, 50s. Got to save money. <laughs> 40s, 50s, that's all right. You know, I enjoy that. Or, yeah. I guess here in the U.S., so, so everywhere else it would be like zero degrees celsius here in the u.s it's like in the 30s where it freezes well like so you can I was like, go oh, outside and like skate celsius. like that's that's nice too like I'm, that's cool <laughs> that's but fun. like yeah when it starts getting into like the negative yeah negative like 50s or something like that you're like think, nope nope i didn't Not i don't want to live in antarctica nope didn't want to do it people do that <laughs> i don't want to do it nope <laughs> oh nope. great can't can't wait for that thank you yeah no i'm not eating seals and trying to kill polar bears damn Wow, yeah, yeah, take it there, huh? Hey, man, life below zero, dude. I watch it. National Geographic. <laughs> Damn Canadians, right? Well, it's Alaska, but and Canada too. You're taking whale fat to heat your lamps. I don't know. Is that, can you do that anymore? I thought that was like no, illegal. No, it you is. Know, they had a whole like whale war show on that. <laughs> watch a lot of TV. I mean, I gotta stop watching TV. <laughs> Every time I uh, see that, I just keep thinking of Maine. It's like, are we gonna stab these whales to get their fat and read Moby Dick or oil? something lately? Like. Actually, it was, I think it was Captain a, Ahab. I, I think it was the Moby Dick movie a couple of years back with. Uh, oh yeah, uh, with Christian the, Hem, Chris Hemsworth or Christian Hemsworth. I don't know, Sam Hemsworth. <laughs> Thor. It's basically Hem, just Thor. He's Thor. Just Thor. Just Thor. Thor. He's Thor. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I just kept yeah. waiting for the hammer. <laughs> I would have killed Moby Dad. Dick. <laughs> Dad. Dad. <laughs> <Like>, no. Uh, <laughs> Deal with your. <laughs> you want to be independent? Have fun. You know what's Asshole. funny? You know what's funny? That last <laughs> Avengers movie they made, he had to put on a fat suit. Like most actors would probably just put on the weight, and he was like, "No, nah. like he's like, I know, I know what my, he's oh. like, I know what he's like, I know what gets me roles, and he's like, I'm not putting on weight. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not fun because you got to put it on and take it off, and right, it's not not easy. No, and then he'd be just an angry old man. That one guy, that comedian, did it, but I guess he said his training regimen was like insane. Who? The guy that's in Always Sunny, he put on weight. Oh yeah, Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he said he did it as like an experiment. He wanted to see. He 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 did that. He as a really joke. let himself go. He did it as a joke because he said like every time some an actor is is in a series, they always yep. get skinny throughout yep. the series. But he yeah. said you never see an actor get fat. True. So that's what he wanted to do. <laughs> kind of. And then he lost it all. Real like, but oh, I guess yeah. he said his training regimen is insane. But he was just like, yeah, he lost it all pretty quick. And then that one guy from Silicon Valley or whatever, he like bulked up 
the Indian oh, looking guy. Oh really? Yeah, oh. dude, you should see him now. Yeah, he's oh. like, he is bulked up now. I guess like he's new. Yeah, yeah, he's been training pretty hard for a few years now. I guess he was just like, yeah, he's like he was just tired of tired of that like geeky whatever look, and he's like, I want to be geeky, but he's like, but I also want to be really strong and fit. Let's so, get yoked and geeky. Yeah, he kind of like kind of looked like he was like kind of getting ready for a superhero role. Like he's not super oh. bulky, but he's cut. Yeah. Oh sh- damn. Yeah. Pretty you should definitely look him up. Yeah. Oh, huh. I'll check that out. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mr. Mr. Looks solid, Mr. Yote. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks solid. Good for him. It's good for him. <laughs> no, it's. Um, but then again, I feel like if you have that kind of money and that kind of dedication, yeah, dude, I get jacked. You know what I mean? Like if I could spend for a trainer and a dietitian, basically tell me what I have to do. <laughs> that's expensive, man. I know, but that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, if you have the money, it's no. Oh, problem. easily. Well, I mean, sorry, it's still tough. Still tough, but yeah, it's still tough. But yeah, but like, at least you have that help where it's like you know I can take instruction. Sure, why not? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's fine. When you gotta do that research yourself and figure that stuff for yourself, it's like yeah, it's half the battle. Also, I like, guess kind of laziness. I'm like I don't want to do all this work. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I work enough at my this job is... when I'm done. When my free time, I don't want to have to do all this research all the time. I... Especially since the things that the dietary and exercising stuff changes like every other year. I feel like oh, it it is yeah. Like the no. current trend. Oh my gosh. I got you. No way for keto. Oh wait, shit. I probably have what? to end soon, but I don't know if I start this right now. Oh, fine. okay. I just, uh, it was, I would just never forget when I brought up to you about Rice Krispies before, uh, Rice Krispie <laughs> treats, the new trend <laughs> before workouts. Oh no. Oh, like, I thought you were going to kill me. That's, a, that's because I deal with this stuff all the time. People are just doing all the keto stuff and everything else. And they're just like, it's, I, I get it. I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to shock the body, shock the system to kind of lean up, but it's. You know it's what else shocks the system? Crack. Yeah. So should we do crack before? Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Just. Jesus. You get such a great pump after this crack hit. I need another one, though. The You know what the big thing was in the 90s? They had speed. But now we just. It's not just like cocaine. Basically. Like stronger cocaine. Cocaine. I don't know why I said cocaine that weirdly. Cocaine. Cocaine. Cacao, cacao, cacao. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, but yeah, basically, I think cocaine was huge for a long but, time too. But basically, uh, we call that pre-workout now. So it all works out. That all, you know, it's all got stuff in it. Yeah, it's borderline sugar and cocaine and things like that. <laughs> cacao, and... cacao. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you're making fun of it. You've given me some stuff, and I get like the I'm like, what the heck is happening <laughs> to me? Get like the jitters and all that. Like it's great for a workout. And I'm like. What am I going to do? Is, like, I mean, yeah, I'm only working out for an hour. I'm not going, not working out for an hour and then going for a <laughs> marathon <laughs> run. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to start, like, blasting Creed or something as I'm working out. <laughs> I don't know. You might be too too amused with that one. Oh, jeez. Can you take me higher? <laughs> You're right. It's more three days grace. You're right. That would be a little more heavier. See? Don't want to go too crazy. Oh, did you break your chair? No. Okay. Just I like the kick. I like the kick? I like the kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, know, my gosh. Oh, yeah. So we got um got an interesting question uh, last time from uh, one of my pestering follow followers. I don't know if you should call them that. Oh, Mojo will be fine. Okay. <laughs> Mojo Jim, this is for you. Because uh, he, he was actually asking about sports one time. Or actually, it was last week's we episode. Could have brought this up like half an hour ago. We were talking I, about it. I got into things and segueing and <laughs> hop along, Cassidy. Shut up. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> but he's You're so good at this. Yes, we're. It's like a ADDs. Don't don't wear mind. this. I just tag along. You're the one that's got to run this crap. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm doing here. either. Okay, it, this is the BS podcast. I don't know what's going on. Um, right. Or glazed donuts, not PS, but wait, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Glazed donuts. Is that what we're called? Glazed maple donuts? Know, <laughs> maple so donuts? Maple glazed? Maple, maple glazed. glazed. That's it. Yeah. All right. Got it. All right. It's yeah. only the second podcast. I'm still learning. Okay. <laughs> I'm still learning the name. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. I don't know what this podcast is about. Me neither. Um, All right. Now, um, he was asking about analytics in sports. Didn't we talk about this already? No. Or uh-huh. like the first time. But he's like, I, I'd like to go further in depth about it, like how analytics is different from your sport to... To your sport? To my to sport. To football? Yeah. Um, so for hockey, here you go, yeah. Mojo. This yeah, for you. right. Okay, there you go. Um, I, it's really that's tough because they don't do it at the lower levels that I've been coaching. But I get all this information from my dad, and my brother. But basically, it would be that 
it would be the typical analytics that you would think of in hockey. So like shots on goal. So yeah. they will factor that in. So obviously with, I don't know, is it, would it be probability or I don't know what the rule is. I'm not a big math person, <laughs> um, but it would be basically like the more shots you take, the odds are kind of like it's like poker or things like that. The odds of scoring would be higher. So my brother would use examples of players that um, are great athletes and good hockey players, but in the scheme of the NHL, we're not that top tier because in, in the NHL, unfortunately, unlike other sports, NHL hockey is where you want to play. Like you can play in Europe and there's some pretty good leagues there, but the best players come to the NHL. That's just how yeah. it is. Um, whereas, you know, in, in, soccer, in football, they might go play in Germany. They could play in England. They could play anywhere. Um, whereas in hockey, you play in the NHL in the U.S. and Canada. So he wasn't that good of a player compared to some of the world's best, but he was good enough to be there. So he was notorious for anywhere along the ice he would take a shot. Well, goalies train so hard and they everything in their training, I'm sure like soccer is like rep or sorry, like football is yeah. like repetition. Um, because when you're in the in the with the game moving that fast, like basketball, lacrosse, um, you know, you have to, everything split second. So goalies have trained their bodies that sometimes you're making saves that you don't even realize you're making because you've just done it a million times. So he would take shots from areas that are just a very low chance of scoring if you knew oh, the game. Yeah, okay. if you knew the game. However, according to analytics, his chances of scoring were higher because he was putting so many shots on net. So the thought was the goalie's going to make huh. a mistake or whatever. But the argument I would make is and of course I have no analytics to back this up. I'm just going off of my love of the game and my experience is like yeah. if you took that shot a hundred times, one percent of the time it's gonna go in. Yeah. But according to analytics, it's you know, you do that so many times in a uh sixty something game season, it might pay off eventually. It, but it just it it did make sense. And so that was the stuff that struggled um, with that, as well as the another big thing you'll notice is on power plays. So for those of you that don't follow hockey, sorry, let me know if I'm going too much. No, good. But for those of you that don't follow, it, big man. right? For those of you that don't follow hockey, um, so obviously in a power play, there's been a penalty that's committed. Someone sits out, so it's five on four. So yeah. there, there's a man down. So the new trend now is, and um, the hockey player that has, pretty much made his career off this. His name is Alex Ovechkin. Um, he's a Russian, Ooh. plays for the Capitals. He's a very great hockey player. But basically all he does is he sits on one side of the rink. The <laughs> puck's over here. The goal is you pass it through the middle to him, and he one-times it. So it's a sla It's like basically yeah. you take your stick, and you take like this huge golf swing. Slap it's shot. called a slap shot towards the net. And because he can – and watch YouTube videos on him. His shot is crazy fast and accurate. He just buries them. So because of that, analytics has thought that every time the puck crosses the middle of the ice, the chances of scoring are a lot higher, yeah. which before analytics was kind of known because you're having a goalie move side to side. It's tough yeah. to stay on your angle and all that. However, now you're just putting numbers of things that you already knew. True. So to me, that's where I sometimes <laughs> analytics, I'm kind of like, but you know, you got to give them credit. They, they took credit for something that no one talked about. They just knew. And yeah. so it's just like anything in the world, someone had to do it, so they chose to do it. But I don't like how they use this argument to back up analytics, where I'm just True. like, that was common knowledge. Like, everyone knew that. Like, you didn't really need to broadcast that. You just have to have a good enough players to pass them the puck and get the shot on net. You're just backing it up to make yourself exactly. look good. So they can give themselves a reason yeah, to But now, because of also because of analytics, goalies now pay attention to that. So now they're, now, oh, they're, now they're keen on that. So now they watch out for that. So it's like... That's just my that's problem. Just basic scouting yeah, that's just, reports. Exactly. That's just my <laughs> problem with analytics is it's not like it's revolutionized it. It's just put numbers behind things we already knew. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like that's that's like and you know, forgive me. Like I said, there's definitely and there's other things probably that I don't know about that analytics produces. Like I know my dad was saying like heart rate monitors and things like that. Like that stuff's great. That stuff is what the NHL needs for guys yeah. resting and all that. But to put numbers behind like scoring chances and things like that it's it's basically just giving the gms and owners reasons to um be able to quantify how much to pay somebody or how much to value yeah. somebody when yeah. sometimes you know like in football and, and well american football and in football in europe like that guy that might not be valued very bigly is going to do the big thing you need him to do to win a championship Your, european football like, yeah. is i understand that even with hockey um it's basically all 
you know geometry anyway. It's such a fast paced sport it's, too. It's, it's you, you it's can't sad. that can't be the be all end all. No. No. It's it helps, but it's not everything. Yeah. And you, you'll see, you'll see a lot of teams that kind of will hire coaches that are basically analytics minded, and they're like, Correct. and they'll they'll basically have their whole system based around that, which is uh, whatever. No, yeah, it's yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, it's <laughs> I no. I hate this new wave of guys that are coming in there like that, and it's funny because you ask any former player who's played at like any decent level, Murph's been through this and. Yep. Trust me, I've been going through it as well uh, with with American football. It's analytics are not as prevalent as say hockey, but there are some teams that do uh, that have kind of implemented it. Uh, as far as I know, it was the Browns, and yeah. I think uh, I think Jags did a little bit. There's a couple other teams that have tried it, but it's it's for football is a little bit different. So like they'll take um, basically any receivers or like linemen, like one on one matchups, and they'll they'll. Basically, he's like, all right, he wins X amount of percentage of the time on a run play on this direction. I was like, there's no way in hell you can possibly yeah. just quantify an argument for based on that guy alone. Um, I know the Browns were doing this before they brought in, oh, John Dorsey, which he was a GM for the Chiefs. Kind of made him what they were today. But they brought in Sa- Browns brought in Sashi Brown, and they had Hugh Jackson. Hugh, Hugh Jackson. Okay. Yep. Um, basically, that's when they went one and fifteen, and they oh, were just yeah, terrible. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess they end up hiring the guy. Actually, was uh, part of Billy Bean's staff on oh, no Oakland A's. So they okay. hired as like a consultant or whatever it was. So he was basically looking over all these analytics and right. brought him in. And there's some guys that were pretty decent, but they were just it was a mess. I mean, the, the team was a mess, and they just had a lot of the guys had no idea what the hell was going on. It's yeah. like you can't. You have eleven guys out there. You have, you cannot quantify anything, no. and you can't well, that's a can't build a team through yeah. that. I feel like with football too, it's all factors too who you're playing against. Exactly. So like, you know, your left that left tackle There's, might be undersized compared to your guys. So it's like he's going to win more, or you know, like that. Yeah, that that stuff. There's too many crazy. factors in football to where you're like yeah. this negates it completely. Now yeah. there's certain things that you're like, okay, this makes more sense. Like this helps, but um, like for example. I can know. understand maybe for QBs and positions like that. QB, but, yeah. And yeah. maybe the odd running back or wide receiver. QBs, like, you can easily do that with um, just the way they're lining up on certain downs. But that's game plan anyway. But yeah. then tendencies based off of that stuff. Right. Like they they tend to go, you know, they tend to drift off here or there yeah. on this play. Which that makes sense. They're pretty much Which, reading reading their uh, what's that called um the, just going uh, through their reads yeah or yeah. their uh their habits yeah yeah which makes sense the, the habits is fine like i yeah. get that but that like i said just like hockey you can't that's not the final like the be all end all like solution that's yeah. going to be the the thing it's it's and the problem that in, that we're having this in this day and age i know hockey and football is the same i know some other places are kind of going through the same thing you're hiring people who my opinion, or not like former players, who, no. you know, yeah. guys who you're hiring people who are kind of had a couple of years of experience and they're like kind of work their way up and yeah, and kiss a lot of ass to oh, get yeah. to where they are. Yeah, it's well the, the the trouble is they use analytics to get themselves through the door exactly and and get the jobs when even the guys that and some of the best coaches in hockey didn't didn't get to the high levels of hockey yeah. but they but they obsessed over it yeah and so sometimes that's the problem now is it just it just gives GMs and owners that maybe don't understand the game but have the money to finance it. Exactly. It gives them an excuse to say, well, that all makes sense to me, so I'm going to hire this person because he has the numbers to back it up, which is what I understand in the business world. And yeah. sometimes I think that's where the art of sport comes in. Yeah. I know I'm going to get really weird like saying it like that. But <laughs> the art it's of true. sport. No, but seriously, like the art of sport comes in yeah. where it's just like there's just things you can't quantify. Like, it you know, is. like there's just – like I think there was that at Moneyball, the move at the end where – the first baseman that used to be a catcher hits a home run and he never does that. And he did yeah. it at a pivotal time when yeah. if you let, if he just believed what his coaches told him and just took a bunt or something like that, like, do they win that game? Yeah. Maybe not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's stuff. Now, of course, the Moneyball movie was done up special for, you know, to, <laughs> to make it, a, to make it a movie, True. to make it a movie. But like, there's just stuff like that, that in the real world and things that sometimes things happen that, you can't quantify, you can't explain, like you just, you it's, just can't. And I'm sure someone that's big at analytics would, can argue the crap out of me and can 
oh, disprove yeah. everything I've said in this podcast. But um, <laughs> it's but that's true. just how I personally feel about it's, it. It's we're getting to a point now, and it's funny. I, I said this a few years ago. I was like, you're you know, that's fine. You want to do analytics? It's cool, whatever. That's you know, that's great. But you're going to get to a point where everything's going to be so analytics based, and baseball is going through this. I know football's starting to go through it too, where you have people in charge, you're making decisions and they're getting to a point where like, well, we don't, our team is not as successful as it could be because we don't have ex players who know how to tap into the team chemistry and the yeah. team, you know, unity. They don't know how to tap into that to get the most out of them. So you, I was like, Oh, so now you can't quantify that. Correct. It's like, of course. So you, yeah. you've got to, that's where a lot of this stuff is starting to stem from. And it's, it's starting to kind of, you know, roll in that direction now. It's kind of crazy, but it's uh, so I'm, much. Yeah, so much to hockey and yeah. American football, and I'm sure European football is soccer, aka um, <laughs> is um, is just like you know, it's it's so momentum based. It is, and so you can't quantify when momentum shifts, and momentum shifts. That's when yeah, I mean, it's yep. like kind of like warfare, where like you know, sometimes the minimalist the minimalist numbers. <laughs> will have the biggest results because they don't, it doesn't matter, you know, what, what's going on. It's just what they believe, what their training was like. And yeah. it sounds sappy, but again, it's the, it's the human spirit and the human drive. Like, you yeah. know, we can, we're such a unique thing that we can overcome anything. When I, like, so it's just, I guess, you know, like everything analytics is probably never going away. So I, I just, I always no. hope, and I think the best coaches, it'll, it'll know, reincarnate in some different form. Yeah. But I think you would agree the best coaches, which I'm trying to become better at, and I know you are too, it's like yeah. you factor in both. Like there is yeah. room for analytics in every sport. I will there say is. that. But to become some of these coaches right now that solely, and even leagues that solely rely on it for reasons to do things, to me is it's just like, dude, just nut up and make a decision. <laughs> Don't, you know, like, you know, like that's... that's We're just, salty. That's, right? Well, no, that's just sports. Like you just yeah. got to take that risk. But sometimes... I feel like no offense, but sometimes with like European football, soccer, it like they they're too nervous to do things, and that's yeah. the one thing that bothers me about that sport. Yeah, they don't have like, you need that final push, like yeah. do something. You just yeah. need that like, little final that. nerve to finish the, the match and exactly. do your thing. It's yeah, and that's that's kind of what's going on now. And and I've said this to a lot of people within you know certain sports, whatever the case may be, everything goes in circles. It's all the new stuff, mm -hmm. all the new new high-tech crap that comes oh, yeah. in and i understand that but i was like it's some way shape or form you know the basics of the game always comes back around and always kind of rears rears his ugly head and it's like all right this is you have to check yourself this is how it's going to kind of rear back and this is how you know the final you know kind of the final part kind of shows up like for example uh football kind of is kind of going through that now where how teams built their defenses and offenses are all off base off the edge so they're all have like speedsters yep. running off the edge and yep. you know trying to misdirect people and whatnot but what people don't understand everything's kind of everyone's exposed in the middle because they don't really worry about that like yep. all the money's gone away from that like the old days in the 2000s or 90s yep. so now like now we're getting to a point where you got people are like oh crap teams are running the ball right in the middle and we can't stop it what do we do yep. it's like oh well you should have done that <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's, like it's uh, going back around in a circle. That's yeah, kind of no. where the game started. Just like hockey, it was they're trying to develop it more like, um, like you said, speedster games. So like, yeah, breakouts where they break into the offensive zone to shoot. Yeah. They're moving the puck back to someone that has speed and hands that they can glide to the middle. But now, yeah. what other teams are doing is they're getting big guys like they used to play in the yeah. 60s and 70s and they're just, just rushing them just bruising and, them <laughs> yeah and now and now they're winning because they're just bruising people and it's just yeah. like so now it's starting to shift again and it's yeah. just like you know at the end of the day hockey like like you said football too it's yeah. a perfect balance of speed and size and it's yeah. just like and it's I, I hate to say it it's like that with any sport and i know they'll come up with any excuse to change that thing and i feel bad for people that are not lucky enough like we were to have size and all that stuff but yeah then you got to have good hands, you got to have good vision, and you got to be quick. You know, like it's just it's unfortunately the way the world, the way the sports work. You know, there's always going to be an element of warfare slash toughness to it. That is just it'll. I don't think that'll ever change. I really yeah. don't. Like that's well, you know, that's what it was pretty much was made for. Well, there you go. Yeah, right. Murph wants warfare. No, I didn't mean like that. In the paint. No, I didn't mean like that. But you don't want these problems. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> catch these I hands. Think, 
I think unfortunately, <laughs> as 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 great as the world has gotten with understanding and understanding each other, we still need that. I don't know if killer instinct's the right word, but we yeah. still need that toughness because at the end of the you day, this world is a tough world to live in, and we all have to be tough. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, to understand each other's differences and stuff is a great thing, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter in some places you're at that you have to still be, you still have to be able to get through it. Yeah, you, know you got I mean? to. Like it's easy for me to say I've been very privileged and very lucky individual, but um, there's certain yeah. uh, every, every, every individual's got to have that grit. Yeah, you got to have that. If oh, you yeah. don't. Uh, it seems like we're kind of running out well, of If you that. don't, yeah, if we don't, we just stop developing things. Things exactly. just stay status quo. You know, we, the Gary V, we lose those guys. Like, it's just you, you need those people. Now, I'm not saying I'm one of them, but stop I'm just. Stop being docile. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm one of them, but I'm just saying we do need those people in the world. They will make the people go around. And unfortunately, if we don't have those people, then the politicians take over. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Nah, to take over and while we're sleeping. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just messing. Uh, I love love charging Zach up with politician talk. Oh, yeah, great! Get the, get the conspiracy go. theories going. No one go down that. Save road. that. Yeah, say, say, save that for the next one. Oh, if we have a second, I'll tell one. you what. The second one, third one, <laughs> third one. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> one point five. Jeez. Welcome to podcast one point five. Right. Uh, man, I for, with for, Zach and Murph. Not gonna lie, in the beginning there, I thought this was gonna be a slow one, but we really picked it up there at the yeah. end. We, yeah, we that's got that's how we going. operate. We're slow, right? but you know, once we get going, we're good. We get going. We just gotta yeah. get the ball rolling. Push yeah. the shit down the hill, and it rolls. <laughs> oh, look at this uh, shit ridden ball. I kind of oh, want it. <laughs> Can't hey, take my eyes off it. Yeah, right. You, you know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make that joke hey, either. Yeah, all yeah, right. I just can't look away. There it's a horrible thing. You just can't look away. God. I'm just trying to save you from getting canceled. I don't want to make these jokes, but it's I'm okay, just trying Murph. to save you. <laughs> no one, no one listens to this anyway. That's fair. That's fair. We're just doing this for for our own mental sanity. Yeah. See how therapeutic it is. It is. It's very yeah. therapeutic. Oh, oh. Here we go. The heck? Yeah, I was. Uh, Wi-Fi was, you know. Messed up between is me that, and is heaven. That that, oh, uh, is that what that was? Uh, <laughs> you got a little ambitious. Uh, <laughs> I love how you looked me right in the eye. We that's it. We like we had a moment you there, felt like that? you and the girls in Starbucks and all that. <laughs> the bakeries. I don't. The back of our eye. The back of our eye. <laughs> I don't know uh, if uh, that random girl in Starbucks can handle that. She's like, I just gotta get this term paper done. Just don't look at me. Term paper. <laughs> Nine, uh, nine. <laughs> term paper. Be stupid, uh, him that nine. <laughs> yeah, my German's not that advanced. I don't know. No, don't know. Basically, just said you're an idiot. Oh, okay, that's what I figured, but it was. I had to true. learn that because in case you know the ref said something to us or like uh, blew a call, I had to I had to say that. Gotcha. Yeah, you had to you had to diss them in their native tongue. <laughs> it worked a few times. How do you mean it worked? Did they reverse the call? Well, they they turn around like, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> like, yes, uh, I win. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Yes, that means you win. Oh. What are, all right. Should we before we wrap this up? Should we get yes. a bold prediction on what you think uh, your was it Paderborn is going to do for football? The big football weekend. Yeah, oh, Paderborn's not play. Yeah, who Paderborn was doesn't play till the end of the month. Oh no no no! Who was it? Oh, uh, Schwabish Hall yeah. and uh, the Dresden Monarchs. Okay, so who uh, who are we rooting for? Let's see. Dresden's got a. Uh, they've been good all year. Their right. offense has been pretty. I'd say above average, but right. their defense is kind of nasty. Obviously, I lean more towards nasty defense. Right, so they win but, games. But Schwabish Hall has been consistent. They win all year. Potent offense. Defense Ooh. is okay. you know, above average. Okay. Good. Don't yell at me about that. No, you guys will. What? I have a lot of Swabish Hall people uh, watch me. But, yeah, um, I don't know. If Dresden can slow the game down, and I th- I think they may a little bit, uh, they may have a good chance to win, but I think Swabish Hall will win. Probably be like, I don't know. I want to say 35 to 24. Ooh, all right. Something like that. Okay. With that, I don't wow, know. maybe you should reference the date in case you're like right on so they know that you didn't just say this. Oh, it's October 8th. There you go. Yes, there you go. Yes, 2021. 
Yes. <laughs> 2023. Yes. <laughs> this is... Yes, we are time travelers. <laughs> What's the, the scene of Waterboy? Or his uh, his girlfriend like predicts a score. It's oh like, yeah, I ain't predicting. That's what's going to be right. <laughs> he gets like the, the like third quarter, fourth quarter. He's like, are yeah. you kidding me? She's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's why I said you should put the date down. In <laughs> exactly. that. What are the analytics that you get that right? We should look into that. Oh, they, uh, yeah, they, I don't the have my reports in front yeah, of me. Yeah, get your reports going here. <laughs> no, oh. but just in case you do get it right, your your followers get back. <gasps> He got it right. Let's get the friends involved. Let's start donating. He's a wizard. <laughs> oh my god, he's Dumbledore. <laughs> Jeez, how dare you, sir? Don't well, you ever I'll, compare I'll, yourself to him. <laughs> how dare you stand where he stood? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I didn't remember the whole quote, so I appreciate you saying it like that. That's where I was trying to go for, but oh, seems like your defenses are <laughs> exhausted, but Put it out extensive. <laughs> Harry Potter, I'm uh, done. I'm done. Are you though? Oh. <laughs> All right. Four minutes. Let's end it on thirty. My lucky number. Four more minutes here. Oh. <laughs> Stretch it out, Murph. What Stretch we got? It out. That's what <laughs> Stretch it out. What we got? I might be a little ambitious after that shirt. But. Oh my god. Not too as ambitious as the Newcastle right. new owners. Hey, no, no. Did I ever, huzzah! Right there, you go. Nice. Hmm? I, we were what? We, I feel like Everyone? we're diverging from it again, but I'm just gonna ask I hate that anyway. movie. What? I know, right? Did you? Did I ever ask you what your real Harry Potter house was? Not the one that you took. Not the one that you wanted to get that you ended up getting. But what was the first one you got? Oh, the first one I got was uh, Ravenclaw. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Then okay. when I redid it, I was Slytherin. Oh, because I'm a. Dick. And you're okay with that? I don't know. But I'm a snake. I'm a <laughs> sneaky little snake. <laughs> Had to make that reference. All right, that's fair. Okay. I'm a sneaky little did, snake. Did you stop after that one, or did you take it more times? I think I stopped after that one. Okay. I think I took like some random like short one that was like not. It was not real J.K. Rowling. Gotcha. You know, test. But I think I got Hufflepuff out of that one. Okay. But I, 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 I don't know. I kind of like lean between Ravenclaw and like Slytherin, I guess. Okay. Gotcha. So you're between an a but, but, unsignificant house to a to a bad person house. So. No, Ravenclaw is like the smart person house. It is. Really? Yeah, it's like the studious house. I thought it was Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff is like the one that you get thrown into because you don't make all the other three. <laughs> oh, dick. No, um, it Cedric is. Diggory was Hufflepuff. I don't know why he wasn't there. He's adventurous, that's why. Oh, okay. He's curious. I don't know. Yeah, I think there was some history thing involved too. When I All I remember it. when I looked it up is that they said Ravenclaw was the one where people were like book, uh, book smart. Let's not go there. <laughs> but they were like they were like you know extremely like curious and studious. Hmm. All right. Well, and then Slytherin was like the manipulative that's we'll, rich ones, and then Gryffindor was you know we moral. Should, we should we should set a number. If we ever get that number, we'll have to go to Harry Potter World and get the actual <laughs> exactly. get the actual tests going here because that is on my list. I gotta do that. Chill out, Maury. I told my, yes, I told myself I was gonna do that when I was like thirty, and I'm you already, are not. I'm in already Slytherin. like halfway through thirty, and I'm like, not, looks like that's not happening. So I'm gonna go after thirty. But same with the tattoo. But yeah, it's, uh, imagine you go to fucking Universal. You just like you can't get your own. Your own wand and just like waving that thing around oh, for two already, hours. Oh, dude, yeah. I, already, I already warned my girlfriend. I'm like, we go. I'm like, I hope you're ready. Like, I'm going to be a man child. Like, it's just everything. Like, I don't care if the ride says five and under, I'm going on it probably because it's <laughs> Harry Potter. Like, yeah, we're doing all of it. We, me and my dad had a plan to go down there, but I don't know what happened. I think it fell through. I think it grew up. <laughs> Became a real boy. I'm a real boy. You took away my buttons, my gumdrop buttons. Okay, relax there. Now you're just mixing the fairy tales. Okay, jeez, have some class. Eat oh, me. Man. <laughs> and now we're quoting Shrek. Oh yeah, saw that on TV the other Somebody. day. Somebody. <laughs> oh my gosh, Smash Mouth, dude! I would go to a concert. Mouth Smash. I would. I would go to a concert in a heartbeat for oh, Smash yeah. Mouth, man. Relive the glory days. Boy, you would go. You know, there's. There is a whole whole tour of all the ex boy bands now. Where? That's I don't know. I don't know where they're at now. 
you're gonna say that and not know anything else? Uh, no, like I, I know you're it's... just gonna tease me like that and that be at the end of it. <laughs> no, right, well, geez. I guess fuck geez. you, go <laughs> everyone. We're done. All right, that's it. You know? No, it's it's oh, like there's a tour you take a Smash Mouth, but I don't know where it is. I don't know what no, time. No, not I Smash Mouth. They're just old boy bands. Oh, okay, but then they had I don't know. It's like O Town, Backstreet Boys, and then they had like Ryan Cabrera. Mm. Yeah, I don't, know Ryan Cabrera. I don't know that one. He used to date Ashley Simpson. Oh, okay. Still yeah. don't know him. Okay. Thanks. I know Ashley Simpson, but I don't know him. <laughs> uh, do, you think, do you think your listeners have had enough? Should we sign off? Oh, they had enough probably about like um, an hour and 20 minutes ago. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you know, I think this works. This works. It works. It's fine. You know this what? Is it's a, it's, it's fine. fine. We'll just, you know, we just keep drinking and it's fine. <laughs> just coast on out. Just exactly. do what we can. <laughs> you know what? Just just end it right now. Just you know, don't even. We're not even signing off. Just end it. Just put, Germans are like the Germans are like on their mouths. Like it, we are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Stop teasing me. Just end it already. Saying, <laughs> why do you keep saying this now? <laughs> no, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but thank you guys uh, for dropping in the second episode. There will be a third. Lucky number three because oh, yeah. Murph wants it I he do. needs it i would like to get to five that's a family number so if we can get to five i'd be pretty happy but not tyler's number family it's not number. mine i mean 30 but i don't think we'll i don't think we'll survive to 30 i think i'll be dead by then but you know. <laughs> be dead by 30 <laughs> you yeah. sir you'll be fine no, i don't know we got we'll this yeah, okay it's hashtag tough. we got this you gotta you gotta <laughs> hashtag it for the for the feel <laughs> hashtag we got this <laughs> hashtag uh, oh, make sure God. you guys uh donate to murph's uh chair fund because we need his uh, butt cheeks to be cushioned and be, you know, protected. First world problems, guys. First yeah. world problems. <laughs> if we're going to be doing these, we've got to at least yeah, protect I'm your butt. I'm doing this for an hour and a half, you know. I, I know. Gotta, I'm sorry. I got to be able to it's feel really... something down south. Like, it's getting pretty bad. <laughs> this is really just, piss poor. Just, yeah, it's just, just everything's sleep down there. I don't even know I'm going to stand up right now. I think I've just peed myself. I can't feel anything <laughs> below my waist. <laughs> Something's cold. I don't know if it's yeah, pee or yeah, the chair. Yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get a blanket or a cushion. It's just this cold ass metal chair. Instead of a chair, they just buy you like a like a cushion donut. Yeah, right. Yes. Is this is for your donuts. prostate. Yeah, yeah. Comfortable, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh bye. Gosh. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna sit on my balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just put my beanbag chair over. I won't make the video. I'll just like be lounging my beanbag chair. <laughs> you look like the guy from South Park. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess that's where we say, this is where we part. This is where we, oh, sweet part, sweet, sweet sorrow part. Oh, Jesus. Jeez, I have really butchered wow. that. Uh, first I, hope beer, cu- huh? I hope you cut that. Yeah, you're not going to cut no, that. But, no, uh, no. We're going we're gonna to end, end on that. That's what we're going to end on. It's all a part of the Murphy lore that's starting to be built Yep. behind the scenes. Yep, horribly quoting poetry. I, I hope Canadians find this. I hope they do. And they're like, oh. They'll probably get offended and cancel us real fast. <laughs> I love Canada, but they are very PC Northern, up there. Northern Canadians then, where they don't care. I don't even know if they have technology up there. It's like the Arctic. Wow, you really pissed them off, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Love you, Canada, but we're just gonna go. We're just gonna be truthful about this here. Like those are the ones that actually live in igloos. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Oh, I'm kidding. No, they have actually really good hunting up there, I've heard. We're about we're about to go into like two and a half hours. We keep talking about this. We need to so we've like signed off ten times. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. <laughs> I'm just warning you. Oh like, <laughs> god. It's like, wow, finally we get the Canadian parts. Uh, you want right. to cut them off. Exactly, right? Yeah. No, really good bear hunting up there, but no, yeah.